today I want to show you guys how you can um, have an easier system for putting mods into NBA 2K18 or 2K17, 2K16. Basically, an easier system for using mods for any game. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be downloading a mod enabler called Jonesoft Generic Mod Enabler. Uh, we're going to download that and I'm going to show you how to turn mods on and off. Uh, this will allow you to easily swap mods. So if let's say, um, for example, if you want to use like a college mod in 2K18, okay, you can enable it and then when you're done, you can disable it and then you can immediately enable maybe like a Euro League mod or something. So let's jump into this. To do this, the first step, you need to have this modded folder, okay? You don't just create a modded folder or you don't just create a folder and name it modded. You need to actually um, follow the steps that I've outlined here in this video, how to mod. And once you follow those steps, you will end up downloading the modded folder, which will give you this modded folder here. And also this file here, you'll need both of those in your main 2K18 directory to even begin modding. So if you wanna watch that, um, not even watch that video. If you wanna watch that video, you can go check out my main channel and find that video. But if you want the link to download that modded folder file, um, it's in the description. All right, so once we have this modded folder here, as you can see, there's nothing in it, okay? This is where you will place your mods. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to go and download the generic, the mod enabler. So let me go back to my window here. All right, so I've already got it pulled up on Google. I've searched for it. And um, so if you want to search for it on Google, you can just type in JSGME Mod Enabler Download. And here's the link here. But I also I have the download link down in the description also. So what I do is I scroll down and click download click here and the download will automatically begin so it's downloading right now all right so it's done downloading so I'm gonna go on my computer to my downloads folder and here it is so what you want to do is you want to click on that and then you want to click on setup um, you can just do run if your computer will allow you just press run if not extract it and then run it but okay then you want to press accept all right so here is where you choose the directory of your video game so I just have my directory up um, you actually want to choose the the address with the modded folder because you want it to go inside of the modded folder. So go to your Steam directory, you know, find 2K18. Now go inside of your modded folder, copy this address. Paste it. Go to next. You don't need a desktop icon. Just click next. Install next. All right. So now it's here. Now it's in here. All right. So we're going to double click on the program. And here it is. Welcome to the Jonesoft modern, generic mod enabler. All right. So by default, it's going to look to store your your files in a folder called mods so we will just leave it like that we'll press ok as you can see it created two more files 
and the program open and as you can see both of these are blank so let's click close and so now when you download your mods if you you know if you don't want to keep replacing this modded folder and renaming folders use this method so now when you go inside your modded folder you want to place your mods in this mods folder inside of their own folder so like if I had a mod for college I create a folder called college and then go in here and I would dump everything in here and what that would do is when I go back to to this program you see it says available mods college so then I will enable it and then it will be an active mod okay and just make sure this is very important make sure that you turn off your mods once you're done playing with them all right so I'm gonna get rid of this college folder <clears throat> and let's see I actually I, I have um, I'm gonna replace this mods folder let's see I'm gonna replace this mods folder that was just created with the one that I already have so I'm going to delete that. All right, I'm going to paste mine in. There we go. So I've got over a gig of mods. So here they all are. Let me go back. Go back to the program. Now you can see all of my mods that I have. Okay. And I like to keep it like this. So let's say for scoreboards down here, have different scoreboards. And I, I mean, and I name my folders like so that I can know what they are. All right. So go back to this scoreboard. Let's say I want to use NBA TV for my scoreboard. I'll just enable it and then um, I'll go into a game mode and start a game now for scoreboards once you have to wait till you actually come out of a game to swap them out but let's say you want to go ahead and go back to the default scoreboard um, what you would have to do is disable the mod and you have to restart the game altogether because anytime you enable a mod as soon as you enable it um, you won't be able to go back to the default thing that you uh, replace with a mod. You won't be able to get it back until you restart the game. But what I could do is replace the scoreboard with other modded scoreboards without restarting the game. So I could go directly to an NBC scoreboard for my second game, then disable it. And then for my third game, I could go into a TNT scoreboard, you know. And like I've, I've got some player faces here. I actually have a lot more mods, but for the sake of this video, I have some player faces here. Like we've got a rookie Dirk Nowitzki. All right, I could put him in, and we'd be good. So let's see. I'm gonna try to show you guys. Oh, man, you know what? I'm gonna try to show you guys something. All right, so we're going to look at Dirk Nowitzki. Now, this is the default Dirk Nowitzki face. So I'm going to bring back up my mod enabler. And I'm going to enable this Dirk Nowitzki with a buzz cut. Now, his face, his face won't change here. But now when I go to a different screen, so let's go into edit player. So there he is. You know, he just has the short hair now. Um... Okay, let's say I want to get rid of this right here. I'm going to back out. Now, this photo won't change here, even though he has short hair. This is a photo, so it won't change. Um, but, again, I'll, I'll just show you really quickly, even though he has long hair here, 
have the mod enabled, go back, he'll still have the short here. Okay. All right, so now I want to look at the, I'm going to disable this Dirk mod and watch what happens. So I disabled it and now the normal, the default Dirk is not coming up. That's because you have to either, once you in apply a mod, you have to keep applying mods to re replace the mod you just disabled or you have to restart the game and then the game will load all the default files again. But let's go back. So this time I'm going to do Rookie Dirk instead of that Dirk with the low cut here. Come back here, picture's still the same, but that's okay. I mean, I can get the picture to change like it, just by scrolling down. You're gonna I've got to fix this dark face. I'm so sorry, guys. Three, four, nine. Hmm. There it is, the rookie dirt. Okay. Finally. Sorry about that. But anyway. Alright, so rookie Dirk Nowitzki. So and so that's how it works. So yeah, this I mean this is really good for just enabling different type of mods. So I'll even show you. Well actually that's all I'll show you. So yeah. I just want to do this video so nobody asks me like, hey, what what is that in your modded folder when I do some future videos? Okay. Alright, that's it.